InDesign CS5 now supports the new mini bridge panel. I've got it here docked on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and expand that panel. And the mini bridge panel it takes a core set of the functionality in BigBridge and makes it available within the application directly without having to switch outside to that separate application called Bridge. What I want to do with mini bridge is navigate to a particular file on my desktop or on my hard drive and open a file or open some other files from within another document. So one common thing that happens with InDesign users is they might remember a picture or a photo or a graphic they used in a previous project, a previous InDesign document, but they don't remember what the name of that graphic was. They just happen to know it was in use in that InDesign document. So what I'm going to do here is I've got my projects folder. I'm going to dive into that. And inside here is this InDesign document. And I want to see the assets, the images that are used in that actual document without actually having to open up that InDesign file. You'll notice that in the upper right hand corner there's a little tiny link icon. That's a new little badge that tells you that you can peer inside that InDesign document. I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose the Show Linked Files option from the contextual menu. And what MiniBridge will do is build thumbnails for all the images placed inside that InDesign document. So I can now scroll through and hold down the Command or Control key and just select the images that I want to use from within that InDesign document. And I'll grab that one as well. Once I have them selected, I can simply drag and drop from the mini bridge panel directly into my layout. And when I do that, because I had more than one file selected, it becomes a multi-file place gun. You can see I have a number four there for four placed images. I'm going to go ahead and collapse that panel back down. And now I can just simply click inside my existing image frames to place those four images from that other InDesign document.